Welcome to the first episode of Rio's how-to videos. This one we're going to look at how to fish a soft tackle on a river. And I've chosen this one because it's probably one of the easiest ways of fishing in a river. You don't have to cast well, you don't have to pay attention, and you can catch fish. It's a good way of starting. It's also a lot of fun and it's also quite tactical when you get into it and technical when you get into it. So there's a lot of reasons to fish it. Soft tackles are just small flies with soft little hackles and little bodies and, and they simulate emergers and they simulate nymphs and they can simulate drowned insects and the large ones can simulate fry. So they simulate a lot of things that are under the surface film. So soft tackles are eaten prolifically by fish, well worth fishing. And that's why we're starting with the episode on soft tackles. Now in this series, you'll see that each of the films we do will be starting off with a little tackle guide, kind of the right gear for fishing the style. Uh, gear is really important because obviously if you set it up right, you've got a better chance of catching fish and a better chance of the line and everything performing when you're casting. And so each episode is going to start with this thing. And for soft tackling, I like to fish a four weight outfit. You're not going to fish strong and heavy leaders, so you fish light leaders. You don't want a heavy outfit that's going to snap when you set the hook. So I like to fish a four weight. This is Sage's X rod, but whatever four weight you like is a really good starting tool for soft tackling. On the end of that and the fly line, I, um, I think it's really important that you have a fly line with long tapers, give you nice soft presentations because the flies are small. So Rio's InTouch Trout LT is probably the best choice of line for fishing soft tackles or if you like to do a lot of roll cast and spay cast and stuff like that the InTouch single handed spay that's another really good line and personally my favorite for swinging soft tackles. So one of those two lines are great something with a long taper. On the front end of that line you don't want to put your regular leader on. You can try you can certainly start off but the soft tackles are very light and small and when you cast them across the current and swing around which is how you're going to be fishing these things they can sometimes skate in the surface film Fish don't like to come up to the surface film and grab them. You might see splashes behind the, surf, the fly there indicating that the fish are not taking it, but they're interested. So if you're starting with a regular leader and not getting fish, go down a little bit and put on a sinking leader. And we make these sinking leaders at Rio. These are called Versa leaders. The clear one here, this is an intermediate Versa leader. And this brown one, this is a slow sinking Versa leader. And both of them sink and we'll make sure the flies swing under the current a little bit deeper, more in that taking zone. So put those on the end of your line. And then on the front end of a Versa leader, you want to attach just a regular bit of tippet. I tend to fish 4X off it. So this is 4X Powerflex Plus, which is our strongest tippet material. I like to have a short section of that. And then because I fish more than one fly, I always fish two flies, and I would heartily recommend fishing two flies. Then you set yourself up with what's called a tippet ring. And tippet ring is just a very easy way of fishing more than one fly. More on that when we come to the rigging section. And then tied to the tippet ring, you just tie a little bit of the 5X tippet material down to your point fly, and then you hang a second fly off the tippet ring, and that is your team. That is your whole setup. So that is really all you need if you're going to do this soft tackling. So let's take, jump in a boat, take a float down the South Fork, find a nice little riffle, a perfect area, show you how everything's set up, and show you how to fish soft tackles. I've got everything rigged up now. So I've got my line, I've got my intermediate Versa leader here, attached to that about three feet of 4X tippet I like, to a tippet ring. And then hanging from the tippet ring is a large soft tackle. And then three to four feet behind that on 5X tippet, I put my small soft tackle. So that's my typical soft tackle setup when I'm prospecting, when I don't know where the fish are and I'm just kind of randomly fishing it blind. In terms of selection of where to fish, this is a perfect kind of area. You want water that's between about one foot and three foot in depth with a nice light wave to it. Not white water chumbling and tumbling around, not smooth silky glass. You can catch fish in those, but the ideal water is just like this light wave, one to three foot depth. and. Uh, We've, got, we've posted up here, so I'm going to get in the water, start at the top of the run, and show you how to fish the soft tackle. So I come up to the top of the pool, and the top of the pool is really where this riffly water starts, the nice fishy water starts. And as I look down this island, I've got about 100 yards of good water, and I'm going to start at the top end, and I'm going to fish my all, way, all the way down to the bottom end. Soft tackling is about as easy as fly fishing can get on a river. I taught my kids that way, I teach a lot of beginner people how to fly fish in a river this way, because really you can do an awful lot wrong and catch fish. You can make a really bad, crumpy old cast and the current will wash it out for you. 
You can not look for anything. You can be looking around at birds and suddenly a fish hooks itself. So it's a very easy way of kind of just getting into fly fishing on a river. When you know a little bit about more, what you're, more about what you're doing, you're going to be casting your line around about 30 to 45 degrees across the river. And then you're going to have your rod swing around with the fly line in the current until the line stops swinging. And that's what's called the dangle. The dangle is the part of the swing where the line really won't stop, well, it won't go any further. It just stops swinging right about there. That's the dangle. And once you get to the dangle, you pull a couple of pulls of line in, you walk down a pace or two, and you make a cast again to that same 30 degree, 45 degree angle, and repeat that same swing thing. Now, there's a couple of tips on this. When you get a grab, it's not something you're looking for. You'll know every grab you get because it's a tug. That's great. That's so very obvious. It's, uh, it makes sure everybody recognizes when it's a take. But a lot of people get broken off when they're fishing soft hackers with four, five, six X tippet. And that's because their rod is too low as it swings. You've got a very tight connection between you and the fly when your rod's low. And so I like, when I'm soft tackling, to have my rod just raised up a little bit. So there's a little bit of slack line hanging down. There's a bit of a curve hanging down for my rod. That allows for a fish to grab it savagely and there's a little bit of shock absorption in that. And you'll find you'll still catch as many fish, you just won't break off as many fish on that grab. There's one. See, that one took on the dangle. The line has swung round, I hadn't retrieved, waited for a second, bang. There's a grab, this has taken the smaller soft tackle on the point. Not a big fish because it's in the shallow water. There we are, long distance release. But still a fish. Well, that one took typically as soon as the camera was turned off. Got to the end of the pool. The fly was there on the dangle. Bang! Right on the end of the dangle. And this one has taken the large soft tackle on the dropper. With lovely little cutthroat. There we and it's gone. Perfect. How about that for a nice easy release? So, as you can see, I worked my way down from the top of the pool to the bottom. Fish maybe 25 minutes swinging, had three or four fish, had a couple of bumps, fish come off, eight or ten electric shot grabs. So it's a great way of producing action when you're fishing. And even though you're not going to land all those fish, nobody ever does on the soft tackle, your line's a bit tight for that to happen, it's still super fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Rio's How To, How To Fish A Soft Tackle. And if you did, maybe you'll tune in again and watch another future episode. Thanks a lot for watching.